The first black woman to attend UGA is getting a road dedication in her honor more than 63 years after she was initially denied entry during the segregation era. Atlanta Now News reporter Valencia Jones was at the state capitol today for the ceremony. There were students yelling, N-word, go home. I was looking around for who they were talking about because I knew who I was. More than 60 years after Charlene Hunter Galt became one of the first black students at the University of Georgia. Georgia honored her with a state highway dedication. The recognition comes one day before her 82nd birthday. She is a testament to resilience, courage, and the indomitable spirit of the black community. It is hard for me, although I'm a journalist and a writer, to come up with words, but I am so honored. She attended Henry McNeil Turner High School and lived in the Mosley Park Hunter Hills community. And now, a one mile stretch downtown on Spring Street bears her name. It was about time. Everything that my mother has done in her career started here in Georgia. I hope that this represents all of the students who made Atlanta what it is today. Hunter Galt and Hamilton Holmes enrolled at UGA in 1961, enduring racist threats during efforts to integrate the college. The first day she was actually run out of there uh, and had to go through a court case for two years to come back and be able to finish a campus. She earned a bachelor's degree in journalism in 1963, working as a journalist and civil rights activist. For me as a black woman, um, I am just honored to know her and be in her presence. I represent the state of Georgia, so the state of Georgia is representing her. Charlene Hunter Gold is the first black woman civil rights pioneer to get a state highway designation in Georgia, but she says the journey continues. I just hope that all of those who haven't been honored in this way will soon be. She quoted Vernon Jordan, one of the lawyers who helped her get into UGA. Endurance is not enough. Listen, we do not sing, we shall endure. We sing, we shall overcome. Valencia Jones, Atlanta Now News.